lottery system. Indeed. You have been coming on this program for a number of years talking about uh, the opioid problem. Uh, When the president of the United States made the big announcement last week, you were there as well. Yes, yes. And thank you for talking about that. President Trump cares so deeply about this. And it's an epidemic. It's a crisis in Mm -hmm. our country. And if I can give one message to parents, you know, they're putting this heroin, this fentanyl now, Seven grains, practically, of fentanyl can kill a child, but they're putting it in pills like Xanax or Adderall that kids are buying to help them study and concentrate, but they're not getting that. They're getting heroin, they're getting fentanyl, and they're getting addicted. It is so much cheaper. It's cheap, and the dealers are selling it to them fast and easy for two dollars the first pill to get them so addicted so you gotta tell your kids kids aren't a lot of kids are getting addicted without knowing they're intentionally taking it the first time so please don't take any pill from anyone who you don't know and you don't know what it is that's the thing that's so frightening right now but but we've got to attack this i just finished the Mm -hmm. president's commission from from law enforcement i am firmly firmly believe in in protecting our borders Mm -hmm. and stopping the flow of this as well as education prevention and treatment which is crucial you know years ago uh, there was a certain shame with saying you know somebody in my family hooked on drugs now it seems to impact every single family wherever you are on the economic food chain you know that that's a that's that's a great point because yesterday we heard testimony from survivors and from families who had lost children and and you know a, a great woman named justin she she testified and she said you know if if my family member had had cancer people would have been bringing me casseroles but right. not because my child overdosed from heroin. Wow. And that's the stigma. It's, it's a disease. It's a sickness. And we've got to help people in this country. Because you've been helping the president with this. Yes. Any uh, possibility you might be the new drug czar? I'm very happy today being attorney general of the great state of Florida. And, and I, I'm so proud of the president. And, and I love being a part of his team in the West Wing, helping him as a friend of the White House right now. And, and we're getting so much done. And it's, it's really, I just love helping people. All right. Well, thank you very much for dropping by today. Thank Attorney you. Attorney General for the great state of Florida, Pam Bondi. Thank you. Well, you just heard her take on the diversity visa.